I hate this phone. It's garbage. Um, this phone looks kind of okay and cool. It's not. Don't buy this phone. Uh, there's nothing good about it. It doesn't come with anything. Uh, it's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I have a different Motorola over there. It's way better. This doesn't have any games on it. Doesn't have any applications on it. Doesn't even have a doesn't even have a stopwatch on it. Um, the camera sucks. Uh, you can go into the camera options. You can see how bad the camera is, by the way. Yeah, I see this. See this tiny screen? Well, the camera is half of that tiny screen. Um, you can go into the camera options and go camera setup, and then go to resolution, and it says high resolution, 640 by 480. Anyone that knows anything about resolution knows that anything less than like a thousand by a thousand is just crap. Um, 800 by 600 is what computers were like five or six years ago. Uh, my computer now, the, the nice big screen that I have, is like 1900 by 1280 or something like that. Or no, 1920 by 1200. Um, the, my laptop is is uh, 10 or 1294 by 1080 or something weird like that. Um, this is a piece of crap. I hate this phone. It sucks. There's nothing good about it at all. Uh, I'm trying to find something nice to say about it. And um, I can't. There's no good backgrounds. There's no good ringtones. There's no good anything. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just terrible. I don't know. I thought it was cool. It's not cool. And flip phones are stupid. Flip phones are so, like, five years ago. You need a slidey phone now. Um, and I'm not a trendy guy. I don't even care. But this phone sucks. Anyways. Wow, I talked on my phone for two minutes. I'm sorry. Um, hello. It's Thursday again. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Today I don't have much content planned. Uh, I, unfortunately was going to make this video yesterday but got sidetracked onto something else which you can check out if you like um, but as a result uh, I'm in a bit of a rush to make this video and you know it's gotta be done like quickly uh, because it's already it's already Thursday at 2 o'clock and uh, I have to get this video up like soon so um, Okay, so as you can see, this is my Siamese cube. Um, I, I've shown this in a couple of my videos already, and um, I just kind of wanted to go into a bit of detail about how I made this. Um, this is a bit different than the design for most Siamese cubes. I made it a bit differently, and that makes it a little bit special, and I will show you exactly what I mean. Now, some people um, don't really want to make one of these because they don't want to wreck two cubes. And not only that, but if you want to have a good Siamese cube, you have to wreck two good cubes. So, um, I guess it's just made out of two store bots. But there is a method by which you can, you know, make a Siamese cube without sacrificing good cubes and still have a really, really good Siamese cube. And I'll explain. So this is just made out of two store bots. But, there's something special about it. It has a secret. As you can see, the cores are not attached to one another. You can separate the two cores and rebuild the individual cubes using the method that I used. Basically, in order to make this, all you have to do is make two special edges. So all you need is four edge pieces and you gotta glue them together um, like this. And then you can place these into any two cubes, your best two speed cubes if you want, and make an excellent Siamese cube. Now just for, uh, just for some contrast, these pieces are black. I'm going to put them into these cubes. This is a white type A and this is a blue type C. Just to see how it looks and how good it turns afterwards.
So here's the first part, partially assembled, so you can see kind of what it looks like. And then it's just a matter of placing the other part. This could be kind of tricky, but you gotta kind of stretch the core into the piece. Uh, am I doing that the right way? Try it this way. And you can fit it in like that, and I'll finish assembling. Um, you might notice the color scheme doesn't exactly match. Uh, that's because this is a Japanese color scheme on on this white cube. So, so I'll just assemble it randomly. It doesn't really matter if it matches or not, I guess. Okay, and what we have here is probably what you'd call the ultimate Siamese cube because these are both two DIY speed cubes, um, both of which turn really fast, have really good, uh, you know, springiness and corner cutting and all that kind of stuff. And that's why I think my method for building uh, Siamese cubes is uh, kind of interesting because uh, the pieces can be applied, the pieces can be placed into any cubes you want. So that's just a bit of a tip for you guys. I thought you might, uh, thought you might enjoy that. For those of you that um, don't really have the money or don't really feel like spending the money to um, buy two cubes just for Siamese cubes, you could try something like this. And um, it is kind of a pain to take it apart and reassemble it all the time, though. But it's an option for you.